Bismuth subsalicylate is an antidiarrheal with anti-secretory, anti-inflammatory, and antimicrobial effects. It is used to treat diarrhea, dyspepsia, heartburn, and acid reflux. Bismuth subsalicylate is also combined with antibiotics and a proton pump inhibitor to eradicate Helicobacter pylori. This is called quadruple therapy. The mechanism of action through which bismuth subsalicylate works is complex. It exhibits many of its properties due to its formulation as an insoluble salt of salicylic acid and trivalent bismuth. The salicylate compound is almost completely absorbed into the bloodstream, while bismuth salt is minimally absorbed. The bismuth that remains in the gastrointestinal tract forms other bismuth salts, these bismuth salts contain bactericidal and antimicrobial activity and prevent bacteria from binding and growing on the mucosal cells of the stomach and helps eradicate Helicobacter pylori. Furthermore, the prevention of bacterial binding to the mucosal cells provides many benefits including preventing intestinal secretion, promoting fluid absorption, reducing inflammation and promoting the healing of any present ulcer in the stomach. Lastly, its antimicrobial and anti-secretory properties play a significant role in combating diarrhea. Talking about pharmacokinetics, bismuth subsalicylate is administered orally and requires storage at room temperature. Bismuth subsalicylate is available in either suspension or tablet form. Patients including adults and children should be advised to shake the suspension well before use and to utilize the enclosed dosage cup. The chewable tablets may be dissolved in the mouth or chewed and swallowed. The proper recommended dosage depends on the indication and the age of the patient. The common side effects associated with the administration of bismuth subsalicylate are nausea, bitter taste, diarrhea and dark or black stools. Bismuth subsalicylate can be fatal in very rare circumstances and can lead to neurotoxicity. Possible autotoxicity like tinnitus and hearing loss with large doses. It may also cause Ray's syndrome in post-viral children due to salicylate components. Contraindications of bismuth subsalicylate include salicylate allergy, presence of an ulcer, pre-existing bleeding problems, children less than 12 years of age and patients undergoing oral treatments for gastric and intestinal conditions with anticoagulants, probenicid, methotrexate or any medication with high salicylate concentrations. In the end, talking about drug interactions, bismuth subsalicylate can cause an increased risk of bleeding when used with anticoagulants, antiplatelets like aspirin or NSAIDs. Patients should be cautious in using bismuth subsalicylate when traveling to countries where malaria is prevalent as it can decrease the absorption of doxycycline which is an effective antimicrobial for prophylaxis against malaria. Lastly, use with caution in those with renal insufficiency or in combination with other nephrotoxic drugs. So that was all about clinical pharmacology of bismuth subsalicylate. Hope you like this video. For more pharmacology pearls, keep sharing and keep supporting us. Thank you.